In this video, I will show you how you can transfer ebooks wirelessly to your ebook reader using Calibre on your computer and Co Reader on your e reader. Let's start with the content sharing server using ODPS. I like that method best. So let's start the content server in Calibre and notice the IP address. After that, you have started a content sharing server on your local network. You actually don't need to do any settings at all in the content sharing server. But if you have to, you can actually do that in Calibre by just going into preferences. And in the preferences, you find different settings. And in the sharing settings, you have sharing over the net. And here you can do a lot of settings for the content sharing server. You can have different users and so on and have some passwords and everything you need actually for this content server. But default works. After starting the content sharing server in Calibre, you go to your ebook reader and co-reader and then go to search. And in the search settings, you had OPDS catalog. And here you can add different OPDS catalogs. I have local Calibre library, as you can see there. And here you can choose which library you have. I have a test books. Click on that. And after that, you can do different searches by newest, for example. And here I have three books in my library, Calibre library. Click on a book and choose which directory on your ebook reader you want to have that book stored. I recommend you to use an own folder, an own directory for all your transferred books. After that, just click download. And the books downloads to that folder. And you can choose to read later or read now. Now you have that book on your device. As you can see here, it's transferred wirelessly from Calibre to your ebook reader. To add your own OPDS library to your co reader, ebook reader, you go into search on your ebook reader and OPDS catalogs. Here you see my own library already added, but click on the plus at the top. Here you can add your own OPDS catalog. But let's check the settings on my own already added. Here you can see the IP address you get from Calibre and the port you get from Calibre. And if you have chosen to use passwords, you can add that too. But you don't need that. Now it's time for the other way of sending books wirelessly using a wireless connection from Calibre to your ebook reader. Just start the start wireless device connection in Calibre. Notice the IP address. You don't need a password if you don't want. And choose a port, a fixed port is my recommendation. And then just click OK. After that, you have started a wireless connection from Calibre. As you can see here, the port and the IP address you can use. And after that, you go into your ebook reader again. And at the top, you click so you get the menu. Then you click on settings. And here you have a caliber setting. Click on that. Here you can see the settings and do some settings, but you don't need that. Uh, as you can see here, automatic server address is my recommendation. Just click connect. Then your ebook reader will connect to your Wi Fi network first. And after that, it will scan for a Calibre wireless connection. And when it, founds, when it finds a wireless connection, you see the IP address there and the port. Now you have connected your ebook reader to your Calibre library. Now you can go into Calibre on your computer. And at the top, you see that you have connected a device. You can go into the device library. You have one book here as an example, but you can have a lot of books here, of course. 
But if you want to transfer a file now, just click on that book. And after that, send to device. You can do some different choices here in send to device if you want, but just click on the send to device button is my recommendation. Click on that. Now it transfers it to your ebook reader. If you want to check in Calibre that you actually have that book on your device, you can go to the device and check if that file is there. As you can see, it's transferred to your ebook reader already. Pretty neat, works great as you can see. So now you can unmount your device from Calibre if you want by ejecting the device like so. Now back to your ebook reader. You can see the same book transferred to your ebook reader. As you can see here, now transferred to your ebook reader. Pretty neat, works great. Okay, bye.